Hey, hey, welcome back to Buzzy Callahan's Work of Advice. And for today's video, I just wanted to talk about some advice for a day which is coming up very soon. And it comes up once a year. I know it's not the only day to uh, make a joke, but I know on this day, people are more likely to tell a joke or fool somebody. I'm referring to April Fool's Day, and I just wanted to pass along some simple advice if you have some April Fool's ideas. And I really have two quick points that I would like to share for this topic. Number one, if you are going to fool somebody and play along with the idea of April Fool's Day, I would say choose your idea wisely. You know, there are some jokes and foolish ideas which are okay, and then there are some ideas which are pushing it way too far. Me, for example, I never really try to pull a prank on somebody. You know, like when I did my senior prank, uh, me and my friend were duct taping a teacher to the wall. I don't tend to uh, come up with an unexpected prank on someone I know because that's just not me. I have always been the kind of person who likes to just simply make a joke through my words. And I think if you think about it, anyone can come up with a joke through their words, but Choosing wisely is a big thing. You know, I would think an example which is taking it too far for April Fool's Day is saying something like, Oh look, uh, your friend died last night or got really hurt. April Fool's, that's taking it way, way too far. On the other hand, I think a simple little fool... April Fool's idea, such as, hey, did you know that they're taking the word gullible out of the dictionary? April Fool's. You know, a joke like that is not really offensive. I can't see how a little joke like that would offend anybody. But I could see how jokes about people and whether they have been, you know, hurt or killed or if anything bad has happened to them. I can see how an April Fool's idea like that would be taking it too far. And I could share many other examples on both sides. But in the end, I would recommend trying to think of April Fool's ideas which are not offensive. And I think if you really want to play along with the April Fool's ideas and telling a joke for the day, if you choose non-offensive April Fool's ideas, then you should get a good laugh from people. And number two, the other piece of advice I would like to pass along for April Fool's Day is to choose your audience wisely. Choose your April Fool's idea audience wisely. You know, there may be people you know who can take a joke anytime, and they would love the idea of having um, an April Fool's Day joke. But on the other hand, there may be people you know who really don't care for joking around as much, or maybe you've learned in the past that that's just not their personality. You know, not everyone laughs as much as other people. And, you know, all of us are different in some kind of way. I would say choose your audience wisely when it comes to the people that you want to fool with. And not only on April Fool's Day, but every day. I know sometimes it can be so easy to fall into the trap of making the wrong joke um, for whatever reason. Um, I've slipped up before. There have been times when I haven't watched myself and I've made the wrong joke or I've taken a joke too far and, you know, that didn't exactly get a warm response. But 
as I control myself more and I think of good appropriate jokes, well, number one, I feel happy and I don't feel guilty about the jokes I made. And number two, I made some other people laugh. And it was over a good joke. Anytime you want to fool somebody, whether it's on April Fool's Day or any other day, just remember, choose your jokes wisely, choose your April Fool's or your fool's idea wisely, and choose your audience wisely. And I think if you do, then you should end up with really good results. So with that, that's all I wanted to talk about for this video concerning April Fool's Day ideas. I certainly hope you have a great April Fool's Day. And be sure to come back for another word of advice video.